guys, this is sick. I just got some new goodies in for the 206 from Iran again. There are some new headlights and another thing, but I'm not gonna show you the other thing yet because that's for another video. So let's see what's inside. Oh, I need two hands for this. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is exciting. Man, this box is really difficult to open. Okay. So these are the new headlights. These lights are just sick. I think they're the best looking headlights they have to offer in Iran for a 206. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> Look at this. Yep. This is gonna get messy. They look absolutely sick. They're even better in real life. Okay, let's go. Let's just give this a test and see how, how it looks. If the lighting all works. Does it work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, that one works, but there needs to be a relay on that. So I need to figure out what this wire is for. I think it's for the running lights. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is for the running lights, so I think if I just test this, just put the wire in here. Yep, that works. So I asked the seller and I guess this is just how it's supposed to be. So the daytime running lights comes on in between the um, turn signal, which I don't really like, but I guess I have no other option. <laughs> so I'm gonna connect everything, make everything tidy and then uh, install the other one. gonna be swapping over the lights onto the new headlights so I've got these these headlights right now these are just halogen <laughs> So the next step is to transfer this headlight 
motor to the new one. So let's do that now. So that's everything done except for this piece which also needs to be transferred to the new light that's uh, what holds in the screw of the little upper bumper piece so let's put that in half this goes right here okay. yeah let's do the other one oh. So let's test the lights, see how they look on the car. Got to be kidding me, right? So there's a bit of a problem because the right daytime running light doesn't seem to be working. So that's kind of shitty. Um, yeah, it's stupid because I've tested it, but this is the regular light. If you connect that, it just works, but if you connect the this wire to here, it doesn't want to work. So I guess the problem is in the light. So I'm going to have to take it out again and figure out what it is. So I found a problem with the light. Um, as you can see here, this wire is loose. It's supposed to connect to that LED module back there. And uh, I guess they broke off in shipping or something so this is going to be very difficult but i'm going to try and solder it from the inside and add another wire to it and then i think i might be able to connect it again so i've made a little loop that i'm gonna try and put onto the wire right there there it's tripped it's gonna be a tricky operation but i'm gonna try it at least So I've got the extra wire connected now. I think I soldered it well enough now. So now we're gonna try to get out the module and then solder this wire to the module and hope it works. So I've got it soldered now. So let's see if it now does work. Nope, still doesn't. Yeah, so it does work now. Nice. I was scared there for a second, but it, of course, <laughs> it only had a plus wire, so it didn't have a ground. Phew. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how long this thing is gonna hold up, but um, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. But uh, yeah, problem problem solved. Let's get on with uh, installing it again. So now everything's hooked up again. So this time. It should work. Let's see if it does. Ta -da. Now they both work. <laughs> 